Hi, welcome to Lulu's unboxing channel. Okay, today we have a little something special. Um, I'm going to unbox or basically unwrap some uh, gashapon that I purchased online. Okay, what are gashapons? Okay, gashapons are those machines when you insert coins and then you turn it. Uh, it's a bit like a blind box as well, but uh, usually they're in the form of a plastic uh, capsule. And... Uh, you basically do not know what you're gonna get so it can be rather difficult to get a set if you try and look for one uh anyway so these two are from agasha ponds uh from uh epoch uh if you're wanting epoch okay uh what do they do okay epoch are basically the uh their main uh toy line it's the sylvania family so i'm not so sure if you heard that it's actually this um this family of uh, animals, yeah, basically they're, an they're animal families with a really cute, uh, very nice doll houses and uh, miniature uh, food stuff. It can be anything. <clears throat> uh, they, they've been doing that for a really long time. Actually, you can always see them in the toy section of any departmental stores. Uh, <clears throat> For Epoch, right, they actually do just more than Sylvania families. As you can see, they do uh, they do gashapons like this and blind boxes as well. Uh, but Epoch, their gashapons can be a little bit difficult to find, I mean, for my side, uh, locally. Because uh, usually the gashapon has, the gashapons around are usually mostly by Eugene or uh, Bandai. Uh, you don't really see a lot of epoch uh, gasha ponds around so uh, hence i have to actually purchase this online but the good thing is uh, i can actually get them in a set as you can see and this is what i got okay uh epoch does a lot of really cute animal team uh team toys uh it's quite it's quite nice and um it's very sweet uh so anyway i will just open both of them and show you okay so uh, i don't really know the full name of the gacha ponds because as you can see it's all in japanese um but i if i'm not wrong the cat series is under a series they call nyanko nyang nyanko n y a k n sorry n y a n k o uh i'll probably check it out later and put it under the uh the video and the info info box under the video to, so that uh, if some of you want to purchase you can actually look out for this uh, series as well okay so this is something like uh, wind chimes these are something like wind chimes so they basically feature quite a few of the characters here and okay whenever you you um you turn uh you you insert coins into the gashapon machine right uh once you get the capsule, they'll normally have the toy and also uh, a slip of, of a brochure or flyer like this to show you the uh, entire sets, the, the entire uh, series. So you know that, you know what, what you're supposed to get and what you're supposed, you can choose what you want to get and stuff like that. Or what you, if you, let's say you are collecting a series, what you are lacking. Okay, so there's five here, as you can see. Oh, it's pretty cute. So you have the uh, main body for the wind chime and then there's a tail at the bottom as well. Um, this is the supposedly like a glass, it's supposed to look like a glass wind chime but of course as we all know, this are actually all just plastic. Okay, so let's open up the first one which is the Calico. Okay, it's this guy here. Okay, we'll just see how it looks. Okay, Calicos are normally she's. Okay, let's just open this. Okay, so oh okay. Um oh so you have to pull this up. Like this. Uh, okay, you can probably hang it on your back, but I think this is a little bit fragile if you're gonna hang it on your back, especially if you're a little rough with your with your back. So you, you tend to throw your bags on the on the floor. <clears throat> You may not want to put this on your back. Maybe you put it on the pouch or something. Uh, handphone, I think it's on the handphone. If you have a slot for uh, charms like this on the handphone, it's also pretty nice. Okay, okay. See? Okay, so basically you can adjust. I guess if you, if let's say for example, you don't want it to stretch all the way like this, you probably want it like that. You can actually tie a knot on the string here if you want to. Okay, so we have this. Okay, this is uh, made of plastic, uh, but it's still a little bit fragile. Like I say, if you want to put it on somewhere, you might want to make sure that um, it's something 
or you know just something that you don't tr you don't throw it around because there's a chance that this can break although it's not glass uh, i guess if it's glass it's probably a bit more worrying but glass would be nice okay so this is the first one we are cook the um calico okay so once we have that open we have the next one it's um it's a uh, white and black cat uh, yeah it's this one. Oh, it's like a it's gray actually it's not black so we have this Oop. oh this is difficult to open just use the scissors and open it okay then we have this it's a little transparent bead on top just to, to help it to hold its shape down i guess okay so like this <laughs> I, I like that it's transparent, but at the same time, right, I realized that you could see this thing in the center here. That makes it a bit awkward because um, it's a little too obvious. They do have another series where the, uh, the it's, it's not transparent like this, but uh, I can't remember why I got, I didn't get it. I, I think it was because there wasn't a lot of designs to choose from. Uh, at least from, from this set, you can choose, oh, I mean, there's five different types of cats that you can choose. Yeah, I think the other one has only like one or two. I need to go and check again. Okay, then third we have the tabby. The grey tabby. Same thing, if you are looking to purchase this and you're not too sure where, um, just try to go eBay and check. Uh, Nutri eBay, it's a, it's a good source to check for um, things like that. Uh, there's a lot of reputable uh, sellers on eBay as well when it comes to Japanese authentic figurines. Uh, just make sure that whenever you buy something, right, uh, make sure that you check the reviews and how long the uh, seller has been on eBay. Uh, and of course, the reviews. Um, try to get someone who has... A lot, lot, lot more of uh, good reviews instead of the bad ones. Okay, always check properly before you purchase. And if it's really cheap, right? Cheap, like I mean, when you when you surf and you you check for prices, if it's really cheap, uh, you might want to be a bit careful because um, there are actually fakes around. Okay, next we have uh the brown spotted cat so actually the last two the last two cats look a little bit similar i think it's the it's not yeah it's probably because of the color as well but um this one has uh it's more of a has patches on it instead so let's see okay so here we go okay as you can see the, um, okay, the bell and everything. Okay, then last but not least, we have this. So, let's just open this. the beige or brown tabby okay oh the till it's oh the till it's uh opaque this is the only one with an opaque till yeah full opaque till as you can see okay Okay, so now we have all five designs. Um, okay, my favorite has to be the Calico and the Grey Tabby. Yeah, this is really cute. But like I say, um, you, you need to put this some on something where you probably won't knock this a lot. Because despite it being plastic, right, I think it can actually uh, crack pretty easily if you're too rough with it. 
Okay, so next we have the um, okay, this is a rabbit series. Um, they call it um, Spoon Rabbit. Oh, this is really cute. They, they have a few series using the same rabbit, right? Um, one was there was one on a leash. I, I really wanted to get that, but it was sold out. So I had the spoon series. Uh, apparently, the spoon one it's um, it's it's pretty new. I think it's it's quite recent. Okay, so you have this, and okay, not this side. Ah, here we go. There's six designs. Okay, you know what? There's actually um. Who? There is actually four designs. I think this is. Oh no no sorry. This is not the one. This you can join them. You can join them like this. Um, there's actually three designs. Okay, three designs, but um, as you can see, <laughs> um, there's one design with three variants and another design with two variants. The only one that does not have a variant is the first one. So two, three, and four are basically the same mold but different color. And then five and six the same thing. Uh, one silver and one gold. It's a little strange that two, three, and four. Okay, usually from what I see, right, most series has like maybe like uh, the same mold and two color variants, like five and six. Um, I seldom see three different color variants for the same mold. It feels a little bit like, um, okay, I feel like it's a bit of a rip off because they're basically the same. It's just that you're giving me different colors. I don't really think I need that. Okay, so anyway, let's try opening the first one. Okay, so this one, as you can see, oh, it's so cute. It's a bunny lying down on a spoon with sweets. I think it's sweets. Okay. Cause so this one is a, it's got a ball chain. Uh, you can hang it on the back, pouch, same thing. Uh, unlike Nyako, which is uh, is a string where it feels more like a handphone charm. This one could be more for the bags. Could be for more for the bags and everything else. Bags, uh, pouches, or your keys. Yeah, this feels rather light too. Okay, this feels rather light too. So, um, I mean, it's good. It's not very heavy. Um... For its weight, I would expect it to look worse. So this kashapon is actually pretty nicely done. Uh, the paint seems to be okay. But if you look at it, like, you know, this white rabbit, there isn't really much to paint about. But uh, yeah, I don't see any... Oh, there's a bit of discoloration here. Okay. Um, but yeah, and usually I think kashapons have the... Um, one of the, the type of figurines or... You know, Japanese um, toys, the ones that usually has a lot of um, painting uh, quality, con low quality control is Nuji Gashapons. So Nuji, I try not to buy figurines if they are true Gashapons because I find that they're Nuji very small or not painted too well. Okay, but this one is still okay. I mean, it's cute. Okay, so you can see the rabbit. Okay, so that's first one okay let's just see the second color it's okay it's the oh it looks like a cream a gold spoon with um cream cream oh is it this one? Oh yeah it is it is number two oh they, they actually did put it here for me too <laughs> not too sure if you can see yeah they did put it for me too okay it's just all in Japanese and I don't quite understand it Okay, let's see this. Okay, so here we go. So this is a gold spoon with a rabbit over. Let me just put this all aside first. Okay, so here we go. Mm, close up. Yeah, so it's got a spoon of cream and it's a white rabbit. <laughs> Really cute. And one of the ears are lopsided. It's down. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
So that's number two. So number three, it's a silver version, silver spoon version with a pink rabbit. So. The tape is really strong. Also, you can see that they paint the uh, the tip of the rabbit and the back of it with a bit of baby pink. It's a bit like an ombre color. Feels a bit like an ombre shade. But as you can see, it's the same rabbit again. But this is really cute though. And then we have the fourth one. The fourth one is another gold color. So um, it's similar to number two. But the thing is instead of... Uh, 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 it's, it's instead of vanilla, uh, vanilla colored cream, it's chocolate cream with um, a rabbit that has slight beigey brown color on the back as well same same like number three same like the pink one before it's like a bit of color ombre color dust around the ears a bit on the head and mostly on the back it's also quite nice okay um but you know the spoon is exactly the same as number two as you can see <laughs> okay so this is it Okay, now we have two more. So number five is the silver version of the third design. Oh, oh, oh I didn't realize. Okay, so um, it's actually separated in... Oh, it's actually not fixed like the other, the other um, previous designs. You can actually put it on. Oh, this one also do not come with a ball chain, so you can hang it on your pouch or on your bag. Unless you want to drill a hole somewhere and do it. So let me see how do they do it. Oh, it's on the ground. Okay, so um, you... Okay, let me just tilt this. You're supposed to put the spoon... Oh no, not the spoon down. The, the cream. This part down first. Okay, this is a little bit... Okay, let me just adjust this and increase the brightness. Okay, I'm just going to put the, the spoon like that. It's supposed to put the spoon like this. Oh, hits little rabbit here. Rabbit guy. Hello. Okay, so um, you're supposed to make him hold this. Hold the spoon. Okay, I wasn't really expecting... <laughs> Of a fix, I, I wasn't expecting that you have to actually fix up a, uh, fix this up like that here, okay. So you have it this way, okay. Um, I think my camera is a bit too far. Let's try to zoom in. Not too sure of that. Okay, never mind. So here we go. Little guy here. Okay, holding a spoon. So this one, it's more of a display thing than something you can hang on your back. Uh, you can apparently also do that to the first one. Uh, that's what the photo's from. Okay, by doing this. Just make this little guy hold a spoon. Mm, hold a spoon. Hold a spoon. And then you do this. But it's a bit hard for... um. Oh, okay. Also, you can do this. Okay, let me just... Okay, you know what? Let me just take this out and show you... Okay, I'm not too sure if you can see that. It's quite cute. <laughs> it's quite cute that you can actually do this. 
um, but like I said it also means that you can't oops sorry you can't uh, hang this on your back or anything the pouch nope okay so sorry I accidentally uh, uh, what do you call click away the camera so right now I'm just gonna remove this guy put him back here and I put them back here so this is what it looks like with the whipped cream and chocolate Okay, the ears are back as you can see. Okay, okay, so I just put this one side. And then next we have the gold one. So the gold one is basically an inverse color. And you have a rabbit that's got yellow, a bit of yellow on its back. Well, so you can see it's the rabbit yellow okay mm. and the whipped cream with chocolate so the color is a bit inverse now but instead of a white chocolate it's just a cream color one and a gold spoon okay so we just put it like this Okay, let me just adjust this, put the spoon on his hand, in his hand, and then we have this. You can twist the spoon a little bit so that it goes this way. I'm not too sure if um, one of his feet is supposed to be up, because it is up actually. So let me just bring it closer. I think I need to get a new tripod. This is a bit too far from the table. It's going the hell out of me. Okay, so like this. Hmm. Okay, so that's it. We have the five parts for this. Okay, so far, um, I think I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Uh, the spoon rabbits uh, are really cute. I actually like that you could hang it on your key keys your pouch your bags rather than you just keep it uh, on one side because as we all know when we keep stuff um, that you don't really display or you don't really use it ends up just being kept in your cabinets so i thought this was pretty cute uh that i wasn't really aware that the last two designs had to be uh displayed uh, since there wasn't any uh, ball chains or any holes that you can actually attach a chain to. Okay, but overall, I think um, the color is quite, quite, the color painted is quite even for a gashapon this size. And of course, the rabbit is really, really cute. Um, like I said, because they have like a few variants for one model. Uh, sometimes maybe for gashapons, I don't really want to get the whole set because of that. Okay. So my favorite has to be this one and the pink and also the first the first one the first uh spoon this one was also really cute it would be it would have been cuter if they they painted the same color ombre with has with this color has with this little guy here yeah, instead of leaving a pure white one but um like I say they are always releasing new stuff and this rabbit seems to be uh, one of their staple uh, characters uh, they do have it in other forms as well i might purchase a few more in the future okay okay so that's it for today's video see you again in my next one okay bye